fuck yeah. Thank you to the person on the Grace and Style book tour who gave me this shirt. I love it very much. Speaking of things I love, let's do a favorites video. The hair from the front looks awkward more than normal. There's some hair. Okay, this was an interesting choice, Grace. This wasn't thought through all the way. Does that look, do I look like a girl on the go that like just kind of is effortlessly? No, just stop there. That's not, it's not gonna be true no matter what. Sure, this is fine. Let's talk about my favorites. I have a bunch of favorites. I'm out of breath. Oh my God, I'm getting too excited. <laughs> this is how my dog feels. Okay. I have a lot of favorites, so let's just jump right in. Yeah. I mentioned this in my Never Have I Ever Tried Girly Things. This is NARS Radiant Creamy Under Eye Concealer. I love it. It works very well. Lots of beauty gurus have talked about it. That is how I learn to try it. This is the color Vanilla. This is the second lightest shade, and I only got this color because I didn't have the lightest shade, Chantilly, which is coming to me in the mail. Who am I to know names of things? Whew, getting too excited again. Huh. Did my dog and I Freaky Friday. Anyway, I think this is great. I like my under eye concealer like I like my dramatic films. Something with some weight to it. This is like masking tape to other under eye concealers scotch tape. Next! These! Can't say that. Can't say that. Can't say that. As one overly anxious thing to another. You need to calm down. Eyeshadows! For book tour, I invested in a bunch of eyeshadows because I thought I would try and make myself overcompensatingly presentable for meeting you guys. And I found a bunch that I like. On a lower drugstore end range, CoverGirl is making these new eyeshadow palettes. Ooh, wow, look at them. This one's called Roses and it's all kind of like purpley pink shades. This one's called Goldens and it's all golden shades. And then there's one called Nudes. That's the only one I didn't get. I have enough nudes in my life. There's a lot of mirrors in my house, and I don't like clothing. And they're really cheap, and they're really pretty and pigmented, and they go on well and last pretty decently all day, so I like them very much. On a higher end scale, this is the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. Watch this. What the wow? Oh, don't worry. This hand isn't covering up a mirror. It's a naked photo of Liam Neeson. I like to look at inspiring things when I'm doing my makeup. Look at how pretty those colors are. It's very interstellar. There's some browns, some purples, some silvers. Those are cool. Next. This. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? This is Tatcha's Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Ooh, the prettiest dildo of them all. I saw this in a Michelle Phan video and then I immediately went on Sephora.com and I bought it because that's how easily I am persuaded. If I had a nickel for every van I got in as a child. Oh my god, what? Ugh, ugh, ugh. I hate myself. I spray this onto my face before I put my makeup on and it just feels really good. It feels very hydrating, very light, and it smells nice. It is a little expensive, but it feels that way. The packaging feels really nice and I feel like, wow, I've invested in something that is very nice for myself. I must like myself sometimes. Cute! Next! This! Can you say Can you say Can you say This is Too Chic. It's called Too Chic, really? This is Giovanni's Echo Chic Hair Care Dual Moisture Complex Avocado Plus Olive Oil Ultra Moist Dual Action Protective Leave-In Spray. So many words, you guys. But this does really nice things for my hair. I bought this at the grocery store. How ironic is it that I had to go to a grocery store to get something to make myself not gross. I spray it in my hair when it's damp after I take a shower and I think it does nice things. Avocado and olive oil are supposed to be really good for your hair and your skin and all that good stuff and this seems to be doing a good job and I've used like half of it already. So that means can't stop, won't stop. Next! This! Can't say it? Can't say it? Can't say it? Speaking of oils, this is Oil of Oregano. I mentioned this in my Fright Diaries on tour. Mamrie Hart gave me this Oil of Oregano, but I have since bought my own bottle. This is supposed to be really good for preventing colds. Or if you start to feel sick, for kind of knocking it out before it has a chance to have a conversation with your body. This is like the good buddy that tells you to swipe left. I put a few drops in water in the morning and at night and I just take it to the face. I think it does a good job. I don't know for sure, but I didn't get completely blown out sick on book tour and I was taking this pretty regularly, so if I'm good at math, which I am not, so that and that thought. Next! These! Can you say ya? Can you say ya? Can you say ya? These are, and I'm so, I'm so nervous about recommending anything food related because I know that Freely Banana Girl has a lot of opinions about a lot of things. And look, I respect her opinions. I just definitely know that she does not respect mine and I don't want to be yelled at. But these are really delicious. These are individual Justin's Maple Almond Butter 
packets and I like them a lot. They make me think I have some kind of like portion control or just general control in my life at all when it comes to peanut butter. But I eat all the packets and Justin's almond butter is delicious. They make original flavored, maple flavored, and vanilla flavored. And I really like the maple flavored ones. Cute! Spare me! Banana girl. Next! Yeah! Can you say ya? Can you say ya? Can you say ya? These are Pinky Petals cover-ups, i.e. nipple hats. I wear a lot of sports bras. Because I'm not the most ladylike. But when you wear sports bras and there's a temperature change, your nipples sometimes um, don't just go with the flow. They're like that friend that doesn't realize how loud they are. And sometimes you just need to like put tape over their mouth. These are like the tape over your loud friend's mouth. But for your nipples. I brought these on tour with me and they work really well. So well that I ordered a whole bunch of them when I got home from Amazon. I think you can reuse them. I just wipe them down with like a damp cloth and you can put them on a bunch of times. I like them very much. That's enough of me talking about nipples. Next! These! Can you see ya? Can you see ya? Can you see ya? Shoes! These are some of my favorite shoes that I've gotten recently. These are little ankle boots that I got from Zara that I really like because they feel very Coachella without having to go to Coachella. And with the little fringe on the back, they make my feet feel like tiny Clydesdale legs. How romantic. Then there's these! These I got from Primark over in London for eight pounds when I was there. They're high top pleather gray sneakers, super, super lightweight, and they might fall apart at any moment, but that's the fun of it. You never know what moment, and will that moment shape the rest of your life in a negative way? Who knows? And then these! I just got these from Urban Outfitters. They're little yellow moccasin type shoes. They're super lightweight. I have a feeling you're not supposed to wear these outdoors at all because I already did once and they've already done that. These might not last very long at all whatsoever, but they're really cute for right now and obviously I like this color. Is that it? Did I do it? I think I did it. Okay, that's it for this favorites video. Let me know what you guys were loving this month and oh, I still need to name this Friday. I haven't decided on something yet, so just give me a little bit more time. I'm working on decisiveness too, but you'll know as soon as I figure it out, okay? Because right now, I don't know. <laughs> they smell good for the time being until I destroy you completely. I'm so sorry, but you've served this country well. Meaning me, my body. Cute!